Hello, this is M.D. McCollum, also known as Warlord, and today we're going to be taking a look at Real Illusion's mocap system. They have invested a lot of time and effort in putting together some quality mocap motions that string together effortlessly. There's zero cleanup, and you can also edit these motions, uh, break them, change the speed, things like that, to uh, use them to your needs. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I had the basic setup from the scene. You don't always have to have everything in your scene turned on or visible when you're working on just a certain segment of it. In this case, this is just all I have in here for simplicity for this tutorial's sake. Now, as you can see, once I turn this, there's no obstructions between this character and this character. It clears the box and things like that, so we don't really need them either. I'm just going to go ahead and get them out of the way. And then the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the guard and we're going to give it an idle. And let's go ahead and use the motion puppet. Let's use a zero 01 natural off of idle. Let's see what we've got. Now I don't want the arms swinging or the hands. So let's see how this looks. Cut the exaggeration down a little and let's slow it down. But just kind of want them looking around. Just a little bit of motion, something like that. Let's go ahead and record it. Now we're going to go ahead and record this out the whole timeline, even though we may end up not using it all. And this is just basically to give us some motion to the character instead of just standing there in a static pose when you work the other character towards them. And then we'll time all this later after we get the other character worked up in the same general vicinity. Because they're not going to be close enough to each other. In fact, I purposely moved the red and black character out of the way a little bit to show you how that you can move it to fit the uh, fit your uh, motions. Okay, we've got that part done. And that just gives us some motion. Now we'll work on our assassin character. And normally I'd be up a lot closer, but this is going to be a pretty long range run from here to here. And it's not that difficult to use these kind of mocap motions, so we don't really have to get that particularly close. So what I'm going to do is go to content, to motions. Now I already know what motions I'm going to be using out. And of course uh, what you can do if nothing else is just go through and test the motions till you see how they work with each other. But we're, what we're going to do here is basically an attack, an assassination. We're going to sneak up. We're going to go from sneak to crouch to walk, then to a dagger attack, and then back to sneak and back to idle. And you'll see what I mean once we get it done. So the first thing I'm going to look for here is sneak, idle, to crouch, idle. I've got him selected, and this just puts him in the crouch. Let me go ahead and get it on the timeline. Now, you can go ahead and move the timeline if, you, if you're used to those and you know how to get back to there. We're on frame 100. If not, just leave it where it's at. You don't want to move any further or, or any gaps right here. Because what we're going to do now is go and get the next motion. And for it, that is going to be crouch, walk. There's a slow and a start. So I'm going to see about that. That's the loop. That's the start. This is the one I want. And then this loop is what I'm going to want next. And it's fairly long. Okay, now, after the loop, we're going to go crouch to sneak walk. And that one I'm just kind of throwing in to give him a pause. It doesn't really fit in exactly, but I'm trying to show you how these things can work together. Okay, next we're going to have dagger attack combo. And this is going to have more motions than we need, but we'll just cut those out. And like I said, as you can see, the red and black one's not in the right position but we'll get it there. Okay, now we're going to go to our last 
motion on the assassin and that is going to be sneak idle to stand idle and all of these are linear by the way we're not even going to get into doing curves or things because these are all meant to work together so I'm just going to do that and what that does is just have him stand up so this is what we have so far Now we'll go back and work on that little jump there. I wanted that to be a pause like you saw somebody or, or just wanted to stop for a second. And you'll, you'll see as we get to it. Okay, so you see what we have here now. Now let me explain what I'm doing here. <clears throat> this is not exactly a part of the sequence where he jumps right there. You can see how these others... They move uh, smoothly when it crosses these uh, points from one clip to another. But this one jumps a bit. That's because this is out of sequence. It's not really uh, part of that proper sequence of mocap. But you can still use it. What I'm going to do is pull the slider handle out. And I'll also use camera angle to avoid looking at it directly if it's really bad. But let's see what we got here. Now there's just a little pause. He slows down a little. Then he gets back up and starts walking. Just as I was saying, like he like maybe he saw something or something startled him. Just something to kind of break up the monotony of that linear motion that just keeps move that keeps moving towards the guard. Now let's position our guard. Now if you have to, this is where you want to go ahead and move in so you can get a better picture of what's going on especially when you're talking about chopping up motions and doing things like we're about to do here but all we're going to do right now is just move him back so let's see I'm trying to find the I am going to say right there is the best place to do that and I am going to move him back and over just a little Now what we also have to do here is correct the transition key. I'm going to go up to transform. This key right here is now out of place because we had to move up the timeline to get to it. All we got to do is drag this all the way back to the beginning and that way he stays there. And then when we come in we have that. Now don't worry about that other motion. And we may do some more adjusting of him later. That's just to get him in the initial position. Now let's go find our guard motion, which in this case is going to be arrow, hit, die. And I know we're not using an arrow. Let's go ahead and double click it. And then let's come back. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, that's a little in this. Oh, also, he's transitioning to a different uh, motion right there. So what I want to do is wait until he straightens up just a little. When he's coming out of that, this is just kind of arbitrary right here. I'm going to say right there. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to break it. I'm going to throw that little part out. And then I'm going to grab my transition handle move it out and let's see what we've got I think I moved it out just a bit way too much let's see what we've got here try it again not quite what I wanted now that'll work. We just want to bring it back a little more, I think. It's not quite happening soon enough. There. We're getting a little closer. Of course, you can just keep tweaking that until you get it like you actually want it. 
Now let's go ahead and fix our assassin. And get rid of what we don't need on him. We have this. Let's move it forward. Let's see. What I'm trying to do is find a place again to cut it. There it goes. Just as he starts coming back. There he pulls it out. I'm going to say right about there. That's a little arbitrary. You may like one forward or backwards. I think I did actually just jump back a little bit there. We're going to go ahead and break it. I am going to get rid of that motion. I am going to pull this up here. Sneak. And then if need be, we can adjust our handle out. And let's see what we've got. little more and then this is also one of those things that if you wanted to you could come in here and actually slow it down a little you may or may not want to something like that But from here you just kind of tweak it a little more if you want to. But you're just getting the picture of how these go together. Now let's make a little more room here. Swing out and around. So we can see what we've accomplished. You can see there those motions are stringing together smoothly. There's the little pause from the motion that's out of sequence and then back into the smooth sequence motions. This is just a small sample of the vast library of mocap motions that Real Illusion has put together. As you can see they're very easy to use and there's really nothing to it. Thank you for joining us. Yeah.